I'd also like to take a few moments and let you know that JavaScript um, is, um, to some degree, a, a language which is going to require some programming. So, although it's technically known as a scripting language, um, there is some programming involved. And you may or may not have programming or scripting experience before you begin to learn JavaScript. It really doesn't matter at this point. Um, if you have some programming experience up to this point, you are in very good shape because you will catch on a little faster. However, if you do not, uh, you're going to have to work a little harder, uh, particularly in the earlier uh, chapters of this uh, training CD, um, to sort of get the idea what's going on. So, um, just I'll give you a little bit of a tip. Uh, you would want to practice and make sure you understand the concepts, uh, the basic programming concepts, before you continue uh, on to the next lesson, because you could find yourself getting uh, quite confused quite quickly. So the next uh, thing that I'd like to say about uh, JavaScript as a language, and because it is a programming, um, and because it's a programming environment, is that there are lots of different components to the language. And these, these components are known uh, often as tokens. And uh, they're the smallest parts of the JavaScript language and include uh, such terms as identifiers, uh, keywords, literals. There are uh, data types that you work with in, in programming, um, such as uh, when you're working with variables, you need to have variables stand for numbers or strings, uh, combinations of letters or numbers uh, or characters, some Boolean values which are true and false, etc. There are also mathematical expressions you're going to have to deal with. So uh, when you set a variable, let's say the variable x equal to uh, 1 plus 4, um, then x becomes equal to 5. That's a mathematical expression. 